Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In the previous video, I have shown you how to design a transparent sticky WordPress header that has a logo that scales down when the user scrolls onto the bottom. You can see that from here, watch the logo. I have already taught this in a previous video, I will leave a link to that in the description. Someone recently asked me in the comments if it's possible to hide the logo when user scrolls onto the bottom. Well, it's pretty much possible. And there are two ways to do it. One is by using Elementor Pro Motion FX, which is the way that we did for the scaling effect. And there's a code way of doing it. I'll show you both, but first let's get started with Elementor Pro Motion FX. So this is the transparent WordPress sticky header that we designed in the previous video. So we just want to hide the logo when the user scrolls onto the bottom. It's very simple. If you have Elementor Pro, it's really simple. You just click on the logo. It can be an image. It can be a logo, whatever it is. Just click on it. Go to advanced under motion effects. We already have the scaled down effect or the scaled down motion effect turned on for our previous video. All we need to do is to adjust the transparency. So we just need to make this logo fade out so the user will not see the logo when he scrolls onto the bottom so the logo will basically be still there but its opacity will be reduced to zero so and these are the values that you need to have in order for this to take place properly so put the checkpoints at 86 percent and 96 percent and this effect works perfectly fine. I've already tested this out with various values. You can play around with the checkpoints. I've already explained that in the motion effects tutorial. So you can play around with checkpoints, but the optimum value to achieve this effect is at 86% and 96%. So with that being said, just click transparency, fade out, set the level to 10 and checkpoints to 86 and 96%. Now let's update. So now our header has both the scaling effect and also the fading out effect. So let's see how that looks like. I'll just scroll back to the bot top. I'll refresh this page. So this is my transparent sticky header. Watch what happens as I scroll. The logo just fades away and it's not visible. So it's technically there, but we just made the opacity to zero with Elementor Pro Motion FX. So watch this effect again. Just scroll and the logo suddenly disappears and you just have your menu and your call to action button or whatever you choose to have in your element. So this is method one. You can also achieve the same effect in another way. I'll show you that. If you want to do it with Elementor Pro, it's really easy. But if you want to do it using code, I'll show you that now. So I'll just reset this transparency so that there won't be any fading out effect. and on my header template, I'll actually drag an HTML widget. So search for HTML and it's this one right here, not the WordPress one. So it's the one supplied with Elementor. So just drag it around and just paste the code that I'm going to share with you in the first comment or in the description. And when you paste the code, you might get a 403 error. It's because of your WordPress WordFence security plugin. So you can temporarily deactivate it. Don't worry, we'll turn it back on. You just need to update the code so that WordPress will not block our functionality. So once we update the code, you can activate your plugin again. So that's a quick hack. Or if you want have another way of doing it, you can whitelist all the Elementor code actions. Click on the logo and an advanced CSS ID. Just give it a name called logo hide, or you can give it any name, but you need to use that name here. So wherever there's logo hide, just put any name that you want. It's better if you have logo hide itself. So just click on the logo and the CSS ID under advanced, just type logo hide. So we're basically giving an ID to our logo so that we can target it with our JavaScript. So when the user scrolls, if he's scrolling down, this condition will check and it will hide the element. So we're basically changing the visibility property to hidden when he scrolls down. 
and when he scrolls up back again we'll turn it back to visible so that it's a two way thing and then we're just setting the variables over here that's what this code is again you don't have to understand the code just click on this give this css id called logo hide and paste the code that i share with you and you're all set you don't have to worry about anything else and yeah when there is a 403 error temporarily deactivate your wordfins security plugin and update it so this code will take care of everything again as we've removed that transparent effect from motion effects let's refresh our home page where my header rests let's see how that looks like so as i scroll start scrolling the logo disappears and the header shrinks and the rest effect just is there and when i scroll back onto the top the logo appears so you have that neat little effect so when the user scrolls back onto the bot top you'll have the logo when he starts scrolling onto the bottom the logo will be gone because of the code that i shared with you again i got the idea of this code from w3 schools so not the exact code but the idea and then i just modified the property so it's quite easy you can also do it so either way you can hide the logo when the user scrolls onto the bottom and show it back when the user scrolls onto the top it's that simple if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace